Okay, now for part two. The second way you can create your company logo is by using one of the paint programs already installed on your computer. One of them is paint.net, which is a pretty easy to use program. The other one is the actual paint program, and I've selected that one just for these uh, purposes here today. So what we want to do here is with the paint program is we want to create a picture that um, works with what we want to do. So we're creating a new file and um, already we have some options here. So one thing I want to do is uh, I'm going to stick with my Kabrick Bridge company. So I'm going to um, insert some text here and I can set my font up. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's, let's pick this one for now. I'm going to make my size so it's nice and big. And yeah, so it was Kabrick Bridges Inc. Now I can resize my text box so it's all one line. And uh, that's done. It's taken care of. So now the next thing I want to do is select something that I want this to uh, work with. So I have some shapes here and I can pick some shapes. Let's say, um, let's say a rectangle. And I'm going to create a rectangle that looks like this. Okay. And then I want to pick a right triangle. I'm going to select it here. And I'm going to do the same shape, and I'm going to go to the left. That didn't quite work out the way I want. Well, it doesn't like me today. So, all right, what I want to do now is I want to rotate it. I'm going to rotate 90 degrees. That's not it. I want to go flip horizontal and then flip vertical. I'm a little rusty with this, so um, there we go. That's what I want. And now I'm going to post it over here. And I'm just going to then go with a simple straight line across, like so. Make sure my line's straight. I'm getting a little picky on it, but you get what I'm talking about. All right, so I've got my, my basic little design here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, create a line again across and then I'm going to stretch that line upwards kind of like that stretch it Ooh, too far there we go and then I'm going to draw in a few verticals like so And you can see I've created a kind of a bridge shape here. And I've almost got it where I want it to be. There. All right, close enough. And then I can go through and I can do other things like I can fill in my colors. Let's say I want to go green around. And I know what I'll do. I'll draw a line here. It's actually going to be black. And I'm going to make it swirl a little bit. I'll draw another line in here like this. Like that. And then I'm going to create a second line. And draw it in like so. And swirl it in like this. And then I'll fill that little spot in with some blue because I'm crossing a river. And there, you know, super quick, super simple. Of course, I'm doing this very quickly for video purposes, but um, it is a relatively easy thing to uh, do at this point. Now, if I want to select this whole thing, make it a little bigger, get a little more 
um, detail on this I can do that I can resize this um, a lot more by selecting things or I believe what I can do is just simply click and drag and that's going to make it bigger so there's my logo and I can start playing around with a little more detail but at this point uh, I'm going to call this done for the sake of the video and I'm going to snip it just like I did in the last video snip my image this time I don't have any uh, watermarks to worry about so I snip it and then I email it to my group mates and uh, that went pretty quick as well so you have two options you can use the online version you can use uh, one of the paint programs get creative with your logos but keep them neat and simple too don't get too busy because these things do tend to be relatively small in the real world so um, good luck with that and uh, I look forward to seeing what you guys turn in that is all